Good morning, and I welcome you all to the seventh day of the 97th Annual Conference of the Music Academy, Madras. This morning, we begin with a prayer by Shrutika and Jayanti of the first year of the Advanced School of Carnatic Music. They will be singing Ni Madit Sallaka of Kavi Matru Bhutaya. Mati chillaka nannu bro chutani 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 Thank you. At the outset, 
I welcome Sangeetha Kalanidhi, Srimati Aruna Sairam, who has kindly consented to preside over this morning sessions. I also welcome the speaker for this morning, Dr. Srikantham Nagendra Shastri. Vidwan Dr. Srikantham Nagendra Shastri, born in 1972, belongs to the family of the Chintalapalli Parampara, which has had a rare distinction of serving dynasties like the Ganga, the Hoysala, Vijayanagar, Bamani, and the Mysore as court musicians, and also having had 800 years of recorded history. Shastri was initially trained under his grandfather, Chintalapalli Ramachandra Rao, and later from his maternal uncle, Chintanapalli Surya Narayana Rao, and pursued his higher studies in music under Vidwan Ambi Bhagavatar, who was a disciple of Sangeetha Kalanidhi, Sri Aryakudi Ramanu Jayengar, and Sangeetha Kalanidhi, Sri Chembai Vaidinatha Bhagavatar. He learned Sangeetha Shastra and Sri Vidya from late Padma Shri Maha Mahopadhyaya, Dr. R. Satya Narayana, whose Karnataka Sangeetha Vahini was presented as the first leg them in this season by Dr. Arti Rao. He's also learned Tala Prastara Shastra from Vidwan Akella Mallikarjuna Sharma of Hyderabad and Laya Techniques under Mridanga Vidwan M.S. Ramaya. This morning, Dr. Srikantham Nagendra Shastri and his disciples will be presenting to us the Navati Mela Raga Tala Malika. Uh, you have 45 minutes from now. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Namaskaram to one and all. First of all, I convey my heartiest congratulations to Vidushi Bombay Jayashri Madam on receiving this year's Sangeetha Kalanidhi. I would like to thank the Music Academy and Shriram sir for providing this opportunity to present a work of mine in front of such esteemed audience. Last time when I gave a leg dem here regarding Maharaja Jaicham Rajendra Vadiya, Vidushi Aruna Sai Ramji was the president of the conference. <laughs> it is a very happy coincidence that she is presiding my lecture demonstration even today. In this regard, the topic for today's lecture demonstration is Navati Mela Raga Tala Malika, an illustrative approach to Mela Tala system with Lakshya and Lakshana. This work of mine was released in Bangalore by eminent artists like Vidushri Neela Ramagopal and Vidwan A.V. Anand sir last year. I would like to start this demonstration by giving some context about how this project started. Two incidents uh, have led me to this creation. Back in 1998, my Guru Padmashri, Dr. R. Satyanarayana, uh, had organized an international music seminar called Pandarika Vithalotsava in Bangalore. Scholars starting from Dr. Padma Subramaniam, Dr. N. Ramnath and Dr. S. A. K. Durga had attended this seminar. In that seminar, Dr. R. S. Nandakumar, son of Dr. Rasa, had performed a composition of Rasa himself, which was set to a raga called Pundarika Vallabha. This presentation was one of its kind because that was probably the first time a raga with Urdhva Gandhara was presented. Later one fine day, my guru told me that Pandarika Vithala had created a mela system of 90 melas, which is similar to Venkatamakhi's 72 mela melas, but more robust. He also told me that the additional 18 melas requires Lakshya, Lakshana, as well as nomenclature, according to Shastra. Later, when I asked him about the Mela Talas, he replied by telling that the current Mela Talas did not have Lakshana Safya Mela. He wanted me to create a proper system for Mela Talas such that Mela Talas could be identified similar to Mela, Mela Ragas. These two incidents are the inspiration of this new Lakshya and Lakshana for Mela Talas. When the work was completed back in 2018, I showed this to my Sangeet Shastra Guru, Dr. Ra Satinarayana, and my Tala Prastara Guru, Lai Brahma Vidwan Akhila Malikarjan Sharmagaru, and got their approvals. Now, coming to the actual work, I have divided the lecture into six parts, uh, followed by demonstration. 
I will start with a brief history on Mela. As my guru, Dr. Rasa says in Chaturdandi Prakashika, Mela is foundational and formative theoretical base of Indian music. According to Govinda Dikshita, Sage Vidyaranya has described in Sa Sangeet Sara, 15 Melas and 50 Janiragas. If this is accepted, Vidyaranya becomes the earliest known source of the Mela as understood today. After Vidyaranya, Rama Matya provides 20 Melas and 60, 64 Janya Ragas. Pandarika Vitala for the first time elucidates a scheme to derive Melas based on Vyasta and Samasta Prastara. He derives 90 Melas, which is one of the main subjects of today's presentation. Venkatamiki, in his Chaturdandi Prakashika, has devised a scheme of 72 melas which has stood the test of time even today. He attributes absolute present, uh, perfection to his mela scheme and claims that not even Shiva with an additional eye in the forehead can dare to uh, so, so devise his scheme by combination of the well-known 12 notes that will result in less or more than more Melas than 72. Little did he know that Pandrika Vithala had devised a 90 Mela scheme much prior to him and also thoroughly complete in terms of Swaraprastara. Coming to the next segment of this lecture demonstration, we will now try to understand how 90 Melas can be derived. Pandarika Vitala in his Sadraga Chandrodaya for the first time he explains the mathematical process of deriving melas using Swaraprastara. In today's context, Pandarika Vithala's mela scheme can be considered as an extension to that of Venkatamakis rather than a completely new mela scheme. While Venkatamaki derives 72 melas, Pandarika Vithala has derived 90 melas. So, we end up in 90 minus 72, 18 more melas. The next question that arises is, how are these 18 additional melas derived? To answer that, we need to make an assumption here. Like how we assume Re2 as Gavan, Ga2 as Re3, and similarly, Daivatas and Nishadas. Pandarika Vithala assumes Shuddha Madhyama as another Gandhara called Urdhva Gandhara. The reason why Urdhva Gandhara assumption is right can be explained with this slide. The first slide on uh, is uh, about uh, Venkatamaki's Swaramela. Here, as we can see that uh, only Vikriti Swara, which is not overlapping with any neighboring Vikriti Swara, is Madhyama. Hence, the Prasthara of Venkatamaki as we follow today's is uh, incomplete. To complete this, we need to assume Shuddha Madhyama as another Gandhara, which Pandarika Vithala has called Urdhva Gandhara as shown in the slide below. With this assumption, we get three more chakras, which the following combinations, namely Shuddha Rishabha and Urdhva Gandhara, Chaturshuti Rishabha, and Urdhva Gandhara, Shatshuti Rishabha and Urdhva Gandhara. And thus, we get eight, eight, uh, 18 additional melas. This is how we end up in, uh, end up deriving 90 melas. Now, we will demonstrate Urdhva Gandhara with a very uh, brief uh, uh, Swara Lapana. Padani da pa magari zari magari Padani zari da pa magam Mabada pa magam Mabada ni da pa magari Like that. So, Madhima, we have to assume that it is a Gandharam. Now, Shrikantam Nagadipti will speak about the how 
the names of additional melas and chakras were kind namaste with the creation of three chakras and 18 new talas the task of naming them was pending the process of coining the names requires brief explanation 13 chakra has been named as lakshana chakra after raga trayodash lakshanas 14th chakra has been coined as bhuvana chakra which denotes 14 worlds or lokas 15th chakra is panchadashi which is named after shri vidya panchadashi mantra which has 15 syllables further 18 ragas have been named as per standard practice of katapayadi sutra for example 73rd raga is lasiranjani as per the sutra la takes the number 3 and sa takes the number 7 hence justifying the mela serial number 73 the name lasiranjani is a tribute to musicologist simhabhupala's work lasiranjana 74th raga vasanta mallikarjuna is named after my param guru shri akella mallikarjuna sharma 75th mela carries the name shastra kaustubha in the memory of the title received by my guru 76th mela is called tathagata a respectful offering to bhagwan buddha 77th mela satchandovati is coined in respect to chandas shastra 78th hamsa roopini is conceptualized through hamsa mantra in shri vidya further in 14th chakram 79th 80th and 81st mela dhi samagnya nada priya and padma priya are named after shri bhagavati the 82nd mela raja yogendra is a tribute to his highness the king of mysore shri jayachama rajendra wadiyar 83rd and 84th are named as gajanana and bhujaga bharana indicating ganapati and shiva respectively in the 15th chakra 85th mela mahamahopadhyayini is named after my param guru mahamahopadhyaya dr r satinarayana 86th mela chandrakala is a symbolic representation of somakalas in shri vidya 87th sadashiva kavi is an apt tribute to uh, the parapara guru of our lineage shri mysur sadashiva rao 88th is hrid vilasini denoting mother goddess who has been chant for residing in devotees hearts 89th dhurjati denotes shiva and 90th carries the name nidhi roopini as mother goddess is the embodiment of all treasures now dr ambika shastri will speak about the need for a new mela tala system namaskarams hitherto we have understood how 90 mela ragas were derived and how the additional mela ragas were named coming to the tala aspect we will now try to understand why there was a need to create a new mela tala system so many Uh, scholars have been demonstrating the 72 mela, mela talas in concerts and lecture demonstrations but a couple of aspects of the old tala system needs to be addressed so firstly in the old mela tala system we have inferred that the connection between 72 mela talas and the mela ragas are questionable for example when we take up vanaspati tala whose lakshana is given as one laghu two anadrutas one guru one anudruta one laghu and one dhruta virama which has no correlations to the swarasthanas of vanaspati raga so this raises an important questions to all of us that is can these talas really be considered as mela talas so coming to the second aspect any tala which uses samyuktangas or shodashangas is against the rule of making a tala as per shastra samyuktangas are merely a combination of independent talangas if such combinations are to be allowed then infinitely many such combinations can be done so also any talanga should have only one sashabda kriya and one arrest should be nishabda samyuktanga have more than one sashabda kriya for all these reasons samyuktangas cannot be used for creating a tala hence there was a necessity to create a system or theory rules or for mela talas using only shadangas namely anudruta druta laghu guru plita kakapada or hamsapada 
Now, Karthikeya Sharma will explain the newly devised Medla Thala system. Over to you, Karthik. Namaskarams. Uh, coming to the newly, uh, newly devised Medla Thala system, as you can see in this slide, the core idea of this new approach is to identify every swara with a thalanga. While there are seven swaras, there are only six thalangas. Hence, one anga will have to be repeated. Dhruta, being an anga whose count remains the same, will be used for Shadja and Panchama. Anudruta is used for Madhyama. For Shuddha Madhyama, one Anudruta, and for Prati Madhyama, two Anudrutas are considered. Rishabha will have its corresponding anga as Laghu. Guru for Gandhara, Pluta for Daivata, and Kakapada for Nishada. For the varieties of Rishabha, Gandhara, Daivata, and Nishada, Corresponding jatis used are Manushi, which is four aksharas, Desha, which is five aksharas, and Divya, six aksharas. For Urdhva Gandhara, the corresponding Ganga is Hamsa Guru, which is 14 aksharas. Now that we have identified every swara with a talanga, the next step is to form a tala. The natural approach to this would be to arrange in the order Sari Gama Padani, and that is exactly what has been done here. An example would make this very clear. As you can see, as you can see in this uh, slide, for Mecha Kalyani Thala, Thalangas uh, corresponding to Kalyani Swarasthanas are written and arranged in Arohana order. For Shadjam, it is Druta. And for uh, Chaturshuti Rishbam, it is uh, Deshya Laghu. And for uh, 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 Antargandharam, it is Divya Guru. And Prati Madhyamam, two Anudrutas, Panchama, one Druta. Chaturshuti Daivata is Desha Pluta and Kakali Nishada is Divya Kakapada. Here, uh, one important point needs to be mentioned here. So many artists uh, have been putting uh, uh, Guru, Pluta and Kakapada by counting like this. But uh, according to Shastra, except for Lagu, for Guru, Pluta and Kakapada, there is only one Sashabda and the rest should be maintained in Manolayam or Manotukam. So uh, we will be, uh, for example, uh, for Guru, there is one Sashabda and one Visarjita. And for uh, Plutam, it is one Sashabda, Krishya and Sarpini. And for uh, Kakapadam, one Pataka Hasta will be added after uh, Plut uh, for Plutangas. Uh, so we will, we will try to present Guru Pluta Kakapada in the same manner. Uh, for uh, Because it's a Raga, uh, raga Tala Malika, the Talas keep on changing and uh, uh, the aksharas of these also change. Uh, so we'll try our best to present. We will need your <coughs> blessings for that. Uh, so another aspect of this uh, Melatala system is just like how Melakarta ragas can be used to derive uh, Janya ragas, Melatalas also can be used to derive uh, Janya talas. For example, from Harikambodhi Tala, we can derive uh, Mohana Talam. Suppose the Arohana and Avarohana uh, of the Janya Ragas are different, then the Talangas can be arranged in both Arohana and Avarohana to create the Tala. So this is an overview of the new Mela Tala system. Now my Guruji will take over and uh, speak about the Shastra Nirmana that he has done for this work. Thank Coming you. to the Shastra aspects, it was my Guru Dr. Rasa's uh, wish that a proper Shastra needs to be created for such work. Hence I took up the task to create one like how, how all the Shastra Granthas start with a Dhyana Shloka, this also starts with a Dhyana Shloka, which is said to Shardula Vikridita Vritta. The shloka, shloka goes like this. Shri Vidyam Sumaraga Chandana Padam Shri Chakra Pethasthitham Dhaka Tantri Ninada Gana Rasikam Chapakshamala Dharam Panibhyam Samamela Tala Chaturam Sangeeta Rupam Shivam Dhyayet Pustaka Dharadim Abhayadam Karunya Purnekshanam. This is followed by Purva Charya Bhyahanamanam, which goes like this. Bharata Matanga Shanga Deva Jagadeka Malla Someshwara Kalinatha Vidyaranya Rama Matya Pandari Vithala Govinda Dikshita Venkata Makhi Govinda Charya Muddu Venkata Makhi Samu Murti Ra Satyanarayana Dinam Guru Nam Padapite Sastanga Namaskaraha Haritasu Gotro Doha 
ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತ ವಂಶಸ್ಥ ಸುಶೀಲ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯೋ ತನಯ ಚಿಂತಲಪಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವರೇಣ್ಯಸ ದೌಹಿತ್ರ ದಿಗಂತ ಯಶಸ ದಿ ದಿಗಂತ ಕಾಂತ ಯಶಸ ಅಂಬಿ ಭಾಗವತ ರಾ ಸತ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣ ಸತ್ಯಾನಂದನಾಥ ಆಕಳ್ಳ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನ ಶರ್ಮಾಣ ಗುರುಣಾಂ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಪಾತ್ರ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ನಾಗೇಂದ್ರ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಅನೇನ ಯಶ ಮೇಲತಾಲಕ್ರಮ ರಚಿತೋ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇದ ಮಹಾಮಹೋಪಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾ ಸತ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣ ತಥಾ ಆಕೆಳ್ಳ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನ ಶರ್ಮ ಅನೆಯೋ ಪುಂಭಾವ ವಾಗ್ದೇವತಾ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಗುರುವೋ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದಾರ್ಪಣ ಕೃತಮಸ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಮಂಗಳಾಚರಣ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಚ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಲಲಿತಾಂ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ಅಭಿವಾದ್ಯ ಗುರುನ್ ತಥಾ ಮೇಳತಾಳ ಸಮಾಹಾರ ಛಾತ್ರಬೋಧಾಯ ಪಠ್ಯತೆ ಮೈ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಬೋಧನ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಛಾತ್ರಸ್ ನಿಷಾದೆ ಋಷಭೆ ಚೈವ ಗಾಂಧಾರೆ ದೈವತೆ ಪಿಚ ಮಾನುಷಿ ದಿವ್ಯ ದೇಶೀಯ ತಾಳಾಂಗ ತ್ರಿವಿಧಾತ್ಮಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಮೇಳತಾಳ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅನುಷ್ಟುಪ್ ಛಂದಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಿ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಫಾರ್ ಕನಕಾಂಗಿ ತಾಳ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಘು ಗುರು ಪ್ಲುಥ ಪ್ಲುಥ ಚೈವ ಮಾನುಷಿ ಕಾಕಪಾದಕ ವಿರಾಮೇಕಾಕ್ಷರನ್ ಚೇತು ಕನಕಾಂಗಿ ಯುದೀರಿತ ಸಚ್ ತಾಳಲಕ್ಷಣ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತಾಳಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೇಳಾಸ್ ಎ ಸೂತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ದಿ ತಾಳ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿರೈವ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅಡಿಷ್ನಲ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೇಳ ತಾಳಾಸ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ದಿ ತಾಳ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಲಕ್ಷ ನಿರ್ಮಾ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಾಳ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾರ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ಮಹಾಪಾತಾಳ ಅನುಲೋಮ ಸೀರಿಯಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಿಲೋಮ ಸೀರಿಯಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಈಚ್ ತಾಳ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬುಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಒನ್ ಚಕ್ರಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ದಿ the regarding lakshya nirmana we all know that any experiment in theory must have its usage in practice as a performing artist i feel that it is my bound duty to provide required examples through compositions keep in this mind the mel raga taala malika was composed mahavidnath ayers mel raga malika and shrimad ajjad adibatla narayana dasu garus ದಶವಿಧ ರಾಗ ನಮತಿ ಕುಸುಮ ಮಂಜರಿ ವರ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಕಂಪೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ ದಿ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಗಂ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಆವರ್ತನ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ಮೇಳ ರಾಗಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಳ ತಾಳಾಸ್ ಈಚ್ ರಾಗ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ರಾಗ ತಾಳ ಮುದ್ರ ಈಚ್ ಚಕ್ರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಚಕ್ರ ಮುದ್ರ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇದ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ರಾಗ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಚಕ್ರ some of the sahityam have been composed in pallavi structure and those can be sung as separate ragatana pallavis i have intentionally avoided chitteswaras for the fear that the composition could get too lengthy two salient feature features of this compositions are the raga taala mudra and sahitya now mahesh will now speak about the usage of ರಾಗ ತಾಳ ಮುದ್ರಾ ಸಿನ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಗ ಮುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೊ ರಾಗ ಮುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟಗ್ರಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಲೆವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಾಗಾಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಟು ದ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕೇಸಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದೇವತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕಂಪೋಸರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರಿ ಓವರ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಳ ರಾಗ ತಾಳ ಮಾಲೀಕ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ and telugu and this extends even to the raga mudras which have been used here now every sahitya has a mention of the raga
ఈ మానవతను మానవతి మానవతను ఎంతో ఘనము నెక్స్ట్ ఇన్ ద రాగం కాల్డ్ స్థాన రూపి సత్సంతాన రూపమైన నెక్స్ట్ ఆన్ టు ద రాగం కాల్డ్ వకులాభరణం దేవకులాభరణే దేవకులాభరణి అండ్ నగానందిని పన్నగానీ నగానీ ఆనీ నీ ఇన్ విచ్ ద సింగల్ వర్డ్ అస్ పన్నగానందిని ఇస్ టేకన్ అక్రాస్ ది ఎంటైర్ లైన్ సచ్ దట్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఇక్ సర్టన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్ రిమూవ్డ్ ఈచ్ టైమ్ సచ్ దట్ ఎవ్రీ వర్డ్ హ్యాస్ ఎ సెపరేట్ మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ అస్ వెల్ ఇన్ అడిషన్ టు దిస్ Uh, there are some other uh, raga mudras in which there is an underlying uh, concept or message regarding the raga itself being a devata in the form of different facets of the upasana devata of my guru in the form of shri vidya devi or bhagavati now nagapranditi will be speaking about the concept of lyrical beauty and significance of shri vidya in the sahitya of its composition namaste the mela raga taala malika in addition to musical intricacies includes several references to Shri Vidya up- Upasana, associated devatas and other esoteric significances. In, uh, in addition to Lalita Mahatripura Sundari, the primary deity of Shri Vidya Upasana, various other forms of the mother like Varahi, Narasimhi, etc. have been mentioned. In addition to this, a clear reference to Bhagavati's various names have been integrated as Raga Mudras at many instances with a seamless blend of Telugu and Sanskrit. He has used all the Vibhaktis in Sanskrit and Telugu. The lyrics is enriched with some salient Sri Vidya aspects like Lalita Sahasranama, Durga Saptashati, Lalito Pakhyana and uh, Tantra Shastras, Guhya Mantras like Tiraskarini, Tara, Navarna, Dandanatha and Hamsa, three margas of Shri Vidya, namely Kadi, Hadi and Sadi, Ganapathyadi, Shanmatas, Navavarna Chakras and Devatas. In addition, Alankaras like Upama, Rupaka, Yamaka, Deepaka, Shlesha, Prasa, Yatis and other literary aids have been employed to add to the beauty of the composition. The, this Melaraga Tala Malika has hence been used to not only provide musical ecstasy to the learner, singer or teacher, but also the Amrita of, of the Aradhya Devata, Bhagavati's form, name and mantras. Now, we will have a demonstration of few chakras from this Malika. We will start with the Hindu chakra, the first chakra. You can have a look at the Tala Lakshana displayed in the slide. ఉచి మదిచి ర 
Ratnangi Samagana Murti Swarupini Manusya Divya Vanaspati Rasavadakarini Mama Bhava Roga Nivarini Narayani Daya Juji Karunyuji Brohavave Kamakshi Imanavatanu velto Ganamu sariga vadu chunidu Padamulanu ne naomi yuna vadu gada Vilna pongu vinu mutalli Satsatana Rupa Maina Tanaya Shisha Dula Kaparuta Nikaruta Hindu Chakra Mula Nuniku Vindu Now, Shikantam Nagadipti and Shikantam Nagapranati will present the fifth chakra. Na 
च बाण चक्रेश्वरी ईश्वरी महाम श्री गुरुचरण मूल कंकित मुनवती मेण रगत Now, Dr. Ambika Shastri will present the eleventh chakra. Huh? Oh. Oh. Now, Mahesh will be presenting the tenth chakra. Yeah. सरियो वरे मातल्ली श्यामलांगी भंडा सूरवध कई ललित चेती चेरुपुलो पुटीनावे मयूरवाहने शन्मुख प्रिय रूपिणी कौमारी मृकीति ज्ञान फलमीय वेनाकु सिंहेन्द्र मध्यम महिषासुर मर्दिनी नीनु गोली चेतने दूरित मूल नुहरियो चुमने तो निन्नु वेदने हाय मावती वेरुवरे गती शिवसती इमहिलो निन्नु विना नाकु भाव जलजी तारिनी दूरी ताघनी वारिनी सदर्मवती दयावती गुणवती कनकवती हरियुवती सरसगती गमनमती पदमे गति निन्नु नुति जैसी ति नीति मति महामाये शिव जाये तीरस्करिनी महाविद्ये दशदिशि चक्रमुलो सकलमुलनुतीरस्करियुचिनुदुपुमु श्रीगुरुचरणमुलकंगितमुनवति मेल रागतालमालिक Now, Dr. Amika Shastri will present the eleventh chakra. Shiva Kanta Mani Mani Darpan Kapole Bain Vasane Suvasane Mamav Manju Bhai Shini Janani Rishabha Priye Vrishabha Vahe Nararshabha Varade Suratha Vaisha Samvado Dita Navarna Mantra Swarupe Avava Shri Ladangi Varahi Panchami Vidye 
तबद सानिध्यम देहि विनिहत शुंभनि शुंभे पाहि वंदेहि वाचस्पति वरसति विशंगवध तोषिते विशोक्र प्राण हरणोत्यमे गिरचक्र गेयरथस्थिते दय जोडुमा Namminhanu mecha kalyani Nidu bidayani Chitrambaralankrute Narasimhi nakhanishite Mamaripu vidayarini chaturbhuje Vartini Ekadash Shubha Palade Shri Guru Charana Mula Kankita Munavati Mel Raga Tala Malika Now Kartike Sharma will present the 14th chakra called Bhuvana Chakra. This chakra, as already mentioned, contains Urdhva Gandhara. Devi Gayatri Savitri Saraswati Rupe Vipra Pujite Kaulini Pahi Nada Priyam Geya Chakra Ratha Rudham Nava Nava Vadya Vinodinim Matangim Varahim Sadavandeham Padma Priye Padma Dalaya Takshi Nalini Sadanugraha Charane Lakshmi Shmi-sthira-muga-nundi Dhanaka-naka-mu-liya-venaku Jaya-jaya-jaya-raja-yogindra-vandite Jaya-jaya-mahishura-purasthite Jaya-jaya Shri Vidyankita Kriti Toshite Jaya Jaya Gajana Namataram Agajam Gajavarada Sahajam Pranamami Gajasura Vibhanjana Varayuvatim Dhyayami Paradevatam Lalitam Aradhayami Lalita Parabhattarikam Bhujagabharan Naikam Yogini Parivrutam Bhuvana Chakra Palinim Niranjanim Shri 
गुरु चरण मूल कंगीत मुनवती मेल राग ताल मालिक वी विल कंक्लूड दिस डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन बाय सिंगिंग द फाइनल चक्र द फिफ्टींथ चक्र Mela system, Mela Tala system, my Guru Akela Malakaran Sharmagaru has created one more Mela system in which Shedja and Panchama are not considered. Shuddhaswaras of Rishabha, Gandhara, Madhyama, Daivata and Nishada are represented by Laghu. The second variety of each of these Swaras take Guru and third variety takes Plutha. So, now we are... With this, I would like to conclude this lecture demonstration and leave the uh, floor for question and answer session, if time permits.
Thank you very much, Dr. Srikantham Nagendra Shastri, Thank and thanks to all your disciples also. Such a beautifully well-trained uh, group for this presentation. Thank you. Uh, and so beautifully sung as well. That is so important. Uh, members of the Experts Committee, uh, Sangeeta Kalacharya, Dr. Rita Rajan, would you have any comments? Or Dr. R.S. J. Lakshmi, any one of them? Namaskaram. And all these uh, scales take the seven swaras, the twelve swaras, thanas. See, in Western music, you have the chromatic scale. And the Mahi tri Paramri Manabalale. With all the twelve sarastanas. Will that be uh, too much for uh, for uh, imagination? Here is Swartha of Chipandra. Ella Angolo Pirke. The number sister, the number sister, the Kindustani, the Western music, the major minor scales. Oh. And they have one more. Chromatic scales. Okay. That with all the swarasthanas, or with all the twelve swarasthanas. That we have to try. Uh, why don't <laughs> you try that? Yeah, <laughs> definitely we will try that. But they take really, very good, very good sanctuary. It has Chatusri Rishabha and Ragandara. So they will insert Sudha Rishabha. Yeah. What, are, what are all the missing notes? Yeah. So Sankravana will be, uh, become a chromatic scale. Yeah. Likewise, Karara Priya. Yeah. The missing Sudha Rishabha, Antara Gandhara, Pratipadhyama, Sudha Devata, and Kakanishada. Adi Shetutana, it becomes a chromatic scale. Yeah. So, on the Madhuri, well, I'm just. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a very good uh, suggestion and uh, very good. It will be a uh, very new thing. Ninga Pandu Ningo. Okay, okay. With your <laughs> blessings, <laughs> I will try. We will try. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Sangeetha Kala Acharya, Dr. R.S. Jailakshmi. Tamil, Tamil, like I can't remember. The Angas Pottering, right? Yes. That's <laughs> 4, 5, 7. Yes, we have that Divya, Deshya yes. and different uh, Lagus, different Gurus. Yes, I agree. But that's uh, difficult to say. The point is that students they are well trained. That is different. Yeah. If you put Kalpana Swaram, yeah. is it possible to put uh, use this Tala for that? Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, it's very difficult to remember. Yeah, uh, that, that is true. <laughs> but we can uh, definitely try. Uh, it's just you try once. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, I'll try to sing in Kalyani. So, Angas. Uh, so, the Angas are Drutam, uh, Deshya Plutam, five Aksharas. And uh, um, Guru is uh, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, two Anudrutas for Madhyamam and Panchama is one Druta and uh, Pluta is uh, Desha, uh, Desha Pluta. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two three, four, five. And, and Kakapada is uh, six Aksharas. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Brava. Bharama Papada Pama Pada Nisa Risa Nida Nida Pama Gama Pada Pama Pada Nida Sanida Pama Da Pama Gama Brava Bharama Uh, I would, before I hand over the mic to Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Srimati Aruna Sairam, I would just like to commend you for the uh, 
lyrical quality. Uh, uh, I know Dr. Srikantam Nagendra Shastri is a Sanskrit scholar and uh, he is heavily influenced by the Sri Vidya Upasana that he does. And he's also presented a wonderful lecture demonstration on the music of Jay Chamaraj Udayar, yeah. who also is in the same, same uh, way, yeah. influence and the same structuring and all that. And it was wonderful to see so many beautifully used Sanskrit words and Telugu words coming in in such a wonderful combination. I think Thank that enhanced so much, the quality of the presentation. Vidvaneva Vijanati, Vidvajjana Parishramam. The other aspect, I, I have a request to you. You said that uh, you did not want to include Chittaswaras because you felt that the length of the composition would become very big. But unless we have the Chittaswaras, we are unable to uh, follow the Raga Lakshanas. Yeah. Uh, for instance, the very reason why Dikshitar Chaturdasha Raga Malika or the Mela Raga Malika or Mahavedina Shivan, one of the very important elements there is the bringing in of the Swaras. I would request you to work on it, yeah, and sure, irrespective sir. of the time. And if you can present it like the way MS Amar did uh, two chakras every year for six years, yeah. and it went on like that, if you remember. So we can do that. I mean, it's not a sure, problem. Sir, sure, but we would like to see that, because that is how we would understand, scholars will understand later how the structuring was done. Definitely, sir. Thank I you. will do that. Thank you. I now hand over the mic to Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Srimati Aruna Sairam. It was a very erudite exposition. Thank you so much Thank for you, such a, an academically and a scholarly morning that we are witnessing right now. And I think the greatest success of your unique work is that you have trained such able disciples to follow your footsteps. <laughs> mm. but I, wa I want to thank Academy and Shiram sir for allowing them to sing. <laughs> I don't know anything. Uh, in fact, your success lies in uh, yes, the students sure. accompanying yeah. you and singing because any knowledge remains uh, uh, canned in a, in a jar as long as it is not disseminated to the younger generation. So I'm, I'm really so happy about that. Uh, the only, as you, as all of you were singing, I was having... Uh, images in my mind of my, as always, of our past experiences. And the only example that I could come up with whenever I traveled to France or Germany in my uh, earlier days was there is a kind of uh, compositional style called atonal music in the Western classical system. And the, the father of the atonal music was Arnold Schoenberg, and then followed by other composers like Stravinsky. So this atonal feeling of co dissonance, conson not consonance, not dissonance, uh, but a kind of a levitating feeling when, when you don't know what is where, that feeling we had when, when uh, some of the ragas were being sung. So I wanted to commend you on that. Thank you. Uh, it only shows great minds think alike, no matter what system of music we follow. The aim is the same thing. It is to extend the boundaries and yeah. extend the horizon of human intellect and understanding. Definitely. Yeah. So that, that is was, the greatness uh, of our music. Yeah, absolutely. And yes, I agree that the Sahitya value was very, very beautiful. I'm only reminded of the historical event when Lavani Venkat Rao uh, composed the Bhattara Raha Malika mm -hmm. and Vaidyanath uh, Mahavidyanath uh, Shivan was requested to put it to music, which he did so um, very, very easily. But then he did not uh, uh, see eye to eye with the lyrics, which were uh, extremely Sringara oriented. So he composed Pranatati uh, uh, for Shiva. So that the Sahitya elevates the, the value of a composition. Mm -hmm. And we were both enjoying the beauty of the Sahitya. Thank you so much for an amazing morning. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Namaste. Thank you all. We will be drawing the curtains briefly to prepare the stage for the second lecture demonstration of the morning. Kindly bear with us.